Welcome to the very first video on Bootstrap. I have had a lot of requests to do a series on Bootstrap, and so I have decided to do just that. Now, what is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is an open source framework that allows you to build websites. And the good thing is it's free and open source. So you can basically use it to design your websites and your web applications. Now, what is a framework? In case you don't know, it's a set of tools that allows you to simply do something very complex. That's basically what a framework is. And usually what it does is it extends the functionality of existing software. So if you take a look at JavaScript and jQuery, jQuery is a classic framework. It extends the functionality of JavaScript. And that's what Bootstrap does. It extends the functionality of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, Bootstrap was first developed by Twitter, and they were nice enough to make it open source. Now, what does it offer? Quite a lot. And these are just a few of the points that I'm going to make. It's the CSS part of Bootstrap, the CSS framework, is very flexible and easy to use. And the good thing is it's already been tested out. A lot of the code that they provide has already been tested. So you don't have to do any testing. You can make a reasonable assumption that the code provided in Bootstrap is going to work very nicely. The major thing that Bootstrap provides is a grid system for your website layout. And it usually comes in a 12 column grid. And it's very, very responsive. That's the nice part about it. But you can also use a fixed grid. So you can either use a fixed grid or a responsive grid. And we'll talk about that in the coming videos. Now I want to point out that a lot of people think that Bootstrap is just a template or just this grid system, but it's not. It offers a lot more. It has a lot of components that you can use, and we'll be covering that. It offers labels, buttons, dropdowns, navigation bars, all sorts of components that you can use even in an existing website. So again, there's a little bit of a misconception out there that somehow this is just some sort of grid system. It is not. It offers lots and lots of components. So the prerequisites for this series are HTML and CSS. If you do not know anything about HTML or CSS, you need to go to my channel page and take those beginning tutorials because we are not going to cover the basics of HTML and CSS. So once again, if you don't know anything about HTML and CSS, you need to go take those series first before you start the Bootstrap series because this is really an extension off of those series. It will also be helpful to know JavaScript. Now, JavaScript will not be the main focus of this Bootstrap series. Series. Bootstrap provides some nice JavaScript plugins. So again, JavaScript is not necessarily a prerequisite, but it will be nice if you know that as well. Okay, that's going to do it for this introductory video. In the next video, we will download and set up Bootstrap.